A diabetic man attempting to raise his blood sugar levels ends up behind bars. The incident happened late Friday night and ended with a man facing charges. News 13's Ed DiOrio is following this story tonight. Dylan Ledford, a diabetic, was coming back to Mitchell County on Friday night from the gym when he realized his blood sugar was dropping. That's why he stopped by this Walmart to pick up something to eat. But a situation that started here ended here at the Spruce Pine Police Department, where Ledford was arrested and later charged with trespassing and resisting arrest. Dylan's girlfriend, Leslie McIntosh, could see Ledford's location on Snapchat and was expecting him to come home on Friday night. So then while I was watching the general area that he was like going towards, I was like, that's not going home. Ledford was on his way to jail with the Spruce Pine police. A Walmart employee had called 911 after Ledford was unresponsive in a car in the parking lot. The manager of the store said on the call, I went out there to talk to him and he just got this big buggy eyes and is not answering anybody and he's twitching and he's sitting in the driver's seat. So I'd like someone to come do a wellness check. <laughs> but according to what McIntosh heard from a witness, EMS was not called, only police responded. They pull him out of the car and use force, tase him three times. Number one, EMS was not notified of any of this. McIntosh bailed out Ledford later Friday night and went to the hospital for treatment. Ledford still faces one count of trespassing and three counts of resisting arrest. In a statement on the matter on Facebook, Police Chief Casey Cook says in part, at this time, the department has turned the matter over to the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation and will have no further comment as this matter is an ongoing criminal investigation. That you do not use that kind of brutality to know when EMS is to be called, to not be that neglectful, and to assume responsibility. And in this situation, none of that was done. We will continue to follow this story as it develops. In Mitchell County, at Diorio, News 13.